On a clear day, Judge Bracken see Mexico from his office, the federal courthouse in downtown Las Cruces. He has sentenced more defendants than any other federal judge in the United States, more than 7,000 defendants over about six years, according to a new study from Syracuse University. Now, that doesn't necessarily make him the busiest judge. The perception shouldn't be such that I'm, you know, down here drowning all by myself, you know. Uh, I was asked when I came on uh, whether I wanted to go to Las Cruces or Albuquerque, and the fact that anybody even asked me the question bothers me now because um, the work was here. Judge Brack tells me one of the reasons why he decides so many cases here at the federal courthouse is because of the high number of immigration cases that come before him. More and more of those immigration cases are now being tried as felonies. Judge Brack has been in Las Cruces since he was appointed by President George W. Bush in 2003. Back then, uh, there were, um, the, the policy was that uh, individuals coming from Mexico, Mexican citizens, uh, would uh, be allowed 15 voluntary returns before they were actually sentenced, before they were actually charged with a crime. And, uh, and that policy has changed over time, and now uh, they don't get any voluntary returns. They're charged with a crime almost immediately. Judge Brack has a responsibility to uphold those policies in spite of sometimes difficult outcomes. There was in court today. Uh, there was a young man, he's 30 years old, uh, he's been in the country since he was nine, and he has a wife and two children, all United States citizens, and uh, I was sending him back to Mexico, and I put back in, uh, you know, quotation marks, because that's not his home, and it hasn't been his home for years, and uh, luckily, uh, he has some family back in Mexico still uh, that will help him start over, but He's starting over as a husband and father without his wife and children, and that's, that's unbelievably tough. A big reason for the high number of cases Judge Brack sentences is he's the only permanent federal judge in Las Cruces for now. There's an empty office at the courthouse waiting for Ken Gonzalez to join the judge. President Obama nominated Gonzalez to replace retiring Judge Bruce Black of Santa Fe. Another reason is that immigration cases take less time to sentence. Judge Brack compares those cases with a recent death penalty case. We spent uh, about 16 weeks in trial last summer doing that. And so when I sentenced that defendant, um, that was one defendant. Right. Uh, and I sentenced 14 defendants this morning. So um, when those, st those statistics have to be considered in the, in the light of the type of cases that are being uh, decided. So with a new judge on the way, Judge Brack is hopeful in spite of a complex immigration process and a high number of cases to prosecute. The real question is how we deal with those that are already here. Uh, and I'm encouraged for the first time in, since I've been here, uh, people are actually talking about immigration reform in a meaningful way on both sides of the aisle. So maybe, maybe something will happen. In downtown Las Cruces, Sloan Patton, KRWG News.